hey fanbots, this is Hawkeye Hawkeye here, and welcome to System Update number 4. Uh, I'm sure you've gotten kind of a feel for these system updates so far. I'm going to be telling you about some of the new and exciting stuff we have coming up, as well as giving you a little bit more of an insight into the mind of us robots. So, let's start off with that insight first. So, send more robots, that's our group. And our thing, you know, I'm sure you've gotten a feel for it so far, is that we want to bring our love and our passion to people out there who share the same love and passion. And, to be honest, uh, me and the guys, we've been friends forever. I've known Mr. Hewitt and Red King since I was in the seventh grade, and we bonded over the silliest of stuff, you know, like uh, video games, stuff like that, which we're doing still now. But we also bonded over our love of, like, mythology, of history, stuff like that. And so we've always really been creative types, and as we grew up, we all were writing together. So it was a natural progression that we would all work together. And then I met Nix and the director in college, and they shared those same passions. And this, I think, at least for me, is the culmination of that, you know, that community spirit. People coming together, working together, making things that they love, reviewing things that they love. Uh, and I think that's, you know, it's, it's the way to be. A lot of times, today, you know, you're told you have to compete against other people, and I think, you know, the real most productive things come from working with your friends. And that's my little hippie moment for the day. What I want you to get from this is just that, you know, we are a friendly bunch, and we really want to make this an interactive group, you know. We want you to interact with us, because why not, you know? If we can all do things together, why not do them together, if that makes any sense. It doesn't sound super duper ambiguous. Anyways, on to the fun and exciting stuff that we have coming, and boy do we have some fun and exciting stuff coming. In the immediate future, be looking forward to Mr. Hewitt posting his playthrough of uh, the PT playable trailer for the upcoming Silent Hills game, which is going to be directed by Hideo Kojima, who's of uh, Metal Gear Solid fame, and I don't know if it's the plot's being written by, or if it's being directed also by uh, Guillermo del Toro, who's known for Pacific Rim. Don't be afraid of the dark. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's, Pan's Labyrinth. Labyrinth, that's the one I was looking right? for. Pan's Labyrinth, yeah. I love his vision. I might actually play this game as well. I look forward to that for Mr. Hewitt, as well as I know he's really, really interested in doing a Fable playthrough with you guys, and having you kind of uh, influence the choices he makes, and help him progress along in the game. And as for myself personally, I'm going to be doing a number of indie games uh, on the PS4, I believe Mr. Hewitt mentioned this last time. I'll be playing Child of Light and Transistor, uh, both of which are really, really fun uh, RPGs games. Uh, Transistor is from the Supergiant games, and they also created the really, really popular, but I don't think many people knew about it, game uh, Bastion, which I believe was available on both the 360 and uh, the PS3. And it's currently available on Steam, so you should totally check it out also. But uh, my, my idea here is, you know, I know a lot of people are considering buying a PS4, um, moving on to the next gen, but they're like, oh, I don't know if there's enough games to play. And I think, you know, with the indie selection right now, Child of Light, Transistor, um, along with, you know, games like Destiny, uh, Need for Speed, hopefully I'll convince you to own one. And then you can add Mr. Hewitt and I to your friends list, and we can all play games together. Yay! We're going to be posting some more of our group Let's Plays uh, for Chivalry and for Nosgoth. Both of which are very, very exciting games, and in the future, we might even get Nyx to join us on Chivalry, which would be pretty sweet. Um, speaking of Nyx, in fact, he and I have been working just diligently on the Pine Tree Hill Radio's first episode, and we have it all finished up for you, and should be up soon, probably by the end of not this week, but next week, because actually... The director and I are going to be out of town for a couple days. I know, sad. So you'll have a week without a director or without a Hawkeye or Hawkeye, but you will get lots and lots of lovely, lovely caring and tenderness from Mr. Hewitt and Red King and possibly Nick, so look forward to that. Like I said, we do have the first episode of Pine Tree Hill Radio all ready to put up, and uh, if you'd like to brace yourself, I'm about to give you a little snippet, a little tidbit. That was it. But, I have another tidbit for you aside from that one, so dim the lights. Having solved at least one mystery, I decided the other could live on, like myself, and turn for the door. The carcass was concerning, the mill unsettling, and the day just weird. But when I turned, what stood before me was hellish. Our last announcement, which is sort of a half announcement, because we haven't fully worked out the details, but I 
believe Nixon and I mentioned in the very first system update that Pine Tree Hill Radio was going to be sort of the bridge into the second half of Send More Robots, which is a more creative-based, more um, developmental side of us. Whereas opposed to, uh, currently, where we're reviewing existing works and we're critiquing existing works, we're going to actually be creating, actually uh, expressing our own visions, our own personal projects, etc. So, uh, along with Pine Tree Hill Radio, we are going to be looking to film a number of kind of like short skits or short, uh, not films exactly, but sort of like scenes showcasing our amazing acting abilities. And we're hoping to do a couple of projects that'll get your creativity flowing. Uh, an idea I had personally would involve uh, responding to sort of like a writing prompt in a shortened period of time and then posting videos of it so that we can see it, so that we can do it, stuff like that. Again, I know it's a little ambiguous right now, but just know we are in the process right now of developing the second half of Summer Robots, and I think, I think you guys are really going to love it. And then last but not least, I have a question to pose to you here today that we would like you to give us your opinion on. For a little backstory, in December, they're going to be doing, uh, DC that is, they've been doing the variant covers every month, and so um, October is like spooky month and everyone's got like creepy covers and stuff like that but then in December all of the covers are going to be done by the artist Darwin Cook and he's he's known for having a very um, kind of old school golden age silver age style where all of his superheroes are kind of more of their like friendly incarnations they're always laughing and smiling and cornballing and they're just known for generally being happier and I read this really interesting article which we linked on our Facebook page recently um, wherein someone discusses that they really wish that the New 52 had been influenced by Darwin Cook's art instead of by whatever did influence it. We were just wondering how our viewers personally felt about it. Like, do you, would you prefer if comics sort of had this um, renewal of the, the classic, good old, you know, heroes of the best of the best, heroes teaming up sort of theme, or do you prefer the newer grittier kind of solo heroes, heroes who are flawed like regular people and who have to deal with you know some of the darker and grittier side of life. So um, we'd really really love to hear your opinion on it and then we'll address not in this upcoming comics comics because I will not be here and so Mr. Hewitt and Red King will be doing uh, a specific graphic novel edition where they talk about why the last man as was requested by one of our followers Sean. Um, but the next episode after that will address this as well. So you have two weeks to think of an answer to this question and then post it either uh, in the comments down below, in the comments for our next Comics Comics, and on our Twitter, on our Facebook, you can post it, you know, general media things. Um, we just hit like 71 subscribers the other day and it's literally the most amazing thing ever. I never thought we would get past like five subscribers, like friends and family, maybe. And we're at 71, and the whole group is elated. We are just beyond words. You know, thank you guys so much for watching our stuff, for commenting on our stuff, for asking us to do stuff. I mean, it's just, it really is an amazing um, experience, and we're really, really thankful that everyone's been with us for so long. And we hope that we can, you know, keep up the quality, keep up your interest, that we can keep you involved. You know, we just hope that going forward, we can give you as good of or better an experience that we've already been giving you, and you know, we just want to thank you. So I believe that's everything I have for today. So as always, remember who you are and what you are. Don't go causing any trouble out there in that crazy world. Always remember that you can get by with a little help from your friends. Uh, bye! <laughs>